Hey, this is Wayne here, and we got a MX uh, lock here. Uh, basically, this is just a specific keyway. Uh, it's a restricted keyway. I do not have the uh, key blanks for these because I'm not a part of their system. Um, but uh, we can maybe take it apart here and uh, see if there's anything special inside of there or see if it's just a restricted keyway. Okay, so we got this MX uh, ready to take apart here and see what we got going on inside of here. Um, basically, we'll just start this with the follower. And there's definitely some nasty stuff in here. Uh, it is not stock. So we'll just start right here. We'll start dumping. So we've got a T-pin and a ball pin. I'll go over this in just a minute here. Let's do like that for now. So that's a T-top driver pin with a ball bearing. All kinds of funky stuff. Another one of those T-pins with a ball bearing. And a key pin. Okay. And then... Let's just take this out of here. So some nasty looking drivers. Um, nasty looking drivers to you. With the master pin on top of that for some reason. Spool driver. So I don't know exactly what the story is with this or who built it, another spool driver, uh, but there's definitely some some added trickery into this. Yeah, we got another spool driver right there. Um, okay, so that's it. She's get it out. Take a look at what we've got going on here. <clears throat> Let's see. Hopefully we can all see that. So we've got these weird ball bearing, I guess that's to let the key go in there, but then when you try and pick it, uh, that ball bearing kind of slides around and moves around and stuff on you. Um, but uh, these are really nasty. I don't know what that master pin up there would be doing. Um, I don't know how much that would help, but these serrated driver pins are pretty nasty. Big, long, different uh, um, shear lines on that. So who built that? Pretty cool stuff. Uh, thanks for... Let me check it out and uh, we'll put it all back together and we'll go from there. Have a good day.